Yeah, we had to make the dreaded call. It's RV inspection day, and today we are in Hatfield, Pennsylvania. We are about to inspect this Forest River FR3 30DS. Now stick around. We're going to update you at lunch and at the end of the day. Keep your fingers crossed that we find nothing. Let's check out this stow and go. So come on in. It's actually perfect. So you can get up from driving, pull over, you can get to the bathroom all the way back here into the bathroom. If you need to go to bed, you can go to bed in the morning. You want to take a shower, you have access and you can cook refrigerator, stove, sit and watch TV. It actually is the perfect stow and go. Thumbs up on this one. All right, first glimpse. There's uh, an uneasy feeling here about everything. So I just feel bad for our customers. Uh, that gives you an idea where we're parked. This will be full of mud the minute it's raining. They're washing the campus which comes here. So that's going to be nice to go in and out. I'm going to have to try to be careful. It's going to be hard for me to stay clean on the knee there. That ain't going to happen. That's the name of the game and that's our calling. This is the first thing we hear this morning when we show up. The service manager is here and he's got this imposing figure that he's trying to, yeah, can I help you out? The attitude is already kind of leery coming here and the way it's set up, but hey, has nothing to do with this. I'm here for the machine. But just to give you an idea how unorganized a lot of them are. First statement is, yeah, you got certification, uh, you got a, a certificate of insurance, uh, you, you've known we're coming here for the last week, if not more. And you didn't think of asking the customer that? No, just try to hinder your problem, your inspection, because here we're privileged today. We've been told by the customer that, yeah, that's a one thing deal and you're special, so you can have your inspector. Because the customer said, all right, fine, I, I would buy it, but if you don't have an inspector, I'm going to go shop elsewhere. Oh, all of a sudden magic appears and oh, you're allowed to. I think dealerships, you dealerships, are going to have to understand that this is not special. It will become special. You better make exception every time because that's where we're going in the future. You don't like it, our customer likes it, and we actually work for them. That's the purpose. On my first walk, I was told this unit is perfect. The service manager already asked me, how long is going to be your inspection? Uh, I said, well, we'll be here until 3 or 4 o'clock. He says, oh, okay, well, i got to leave and go drop somebody for about 45 minutes. 45 minutes? He thought we're going to be done. I don't know, but he thought I was inspecting the ashtray, which there's none in there, by the way. That would have been quick. This unit is perfect. I want you to look right above my head. This is the awning. If, if this is how this unit has been treated to be driven down here, this was told to be perfect. If this is perfect, how much thing does this hide? Maybe gee, absolutely nothing, but do you realize that to do this, somebody went close to a wall big time? So that's a good head start of whoever drove it down here. So that's why I looked if they hit something else, but we'll see underneath and we'll see how it goes. Right now, well, I guess we're gonna have to go to work and I'll leave you with another comment after lunchtime. Hold on. Yeah, we had to make the dreaded call. But it wasn't a dreaded call, meaning I was just reaching out to make sure that the customer would have been okay with my findings. So here we go, we got this slide out box that will go out and as we can see from each end of the slide out we can see that the frame is not in line with the box so the front end looks straight looks beautiful and then you look at the rear end whoa okay so this trim that holds the seal and all the system the sealant system is kind of bowed a little bit it's it's not going straight which brings me to wonder what's going on so that's the first thing I do when I come in and that's why before we get those out I look at what it looks like from the inside to have an idea if there's something to look forward to so I end up on the front side and here you go the top part doesn't touch so the seal doesn't touch the box at all you think well they'll fix it or well it's an RV so I'm gonna buy it I'll remind you you're paying this amount of money it's coming out of your pocket if you think the industry should be sloppy like this and deliver stuff like this 
that's your call. But for me, I needed to address this to the customer and say, okay, how do you feel with this? This is what we're showing you. This is what it looks like. Is it okay for you? We'll continue the inspection. I don't have a problem, but I already have a major concern. As Lowell's with me, we're talking to the customer. I'm showing him with the camera what it looks like as he's vouching to what he's seen. And nope, it's clear. I understand totally. And this is Lowell points a finger at this. Are you kidding me? On top of it, right there, sun was perfect. And that's why we tried to touch every square inch of the unit. This to show you again, and most likely it comes from the seat belt hanger from the inside because we located it. So that split crack through the fiberglass comes from there. That's the beginning of the end. And this is where and what the customer had to say and where we stood with this. Site. So here's the deal. We are not here to protect any deal or purchases. We're not here to confirm that, oh yeah, make everything work smooth with the seller. Dealers don't like us, and I understand. And they'll say that, well, you're there to blow up deals. I don't know about you, but if I'm going to spend $150,000 on something, it better be kind of sort of right. So if Forest River screwed up on their manufacturing plant and this hole is not square, that doesn't become me the purchaser of my problem. And yes, we're there to protect your butt, not the dealer. I'm not here to be in bed with the dealer. I don't protect the dealer in any way, shape, or form, like we've been asked at the Hershey show by somebody, some salesman, that we should actually bring him back to whoever he's working for, because that kind of pissed me off, he even offered us to, how do you say that, Soudoyer? You get my back, I get your back, so we'll be good. This is exactly what this salesperson was doing. And I can't name his name, but I got his business card. So if ever some of you buy somewhere, ask. So here's his literal statement. Whatever you charge, let's say 1200 bucks, I'll charge a customer 2000 He specifically said, you work for me, I work for you. I'll tell you what can and cannot go on the report. So remember this, when a salesperson sitting down with you, F&I, whoever offers you, hey, we got our own, don't worry, they'll take care of you. Then his next statement to us is us, meaning Laurel and I are standing by each other. You take care of me, I take care of you. So let's just make sure that that deals go smoothly. I'm sorry. I'm probably going to make enemies here, but I don't really care. I'm here to protect my people. You salespeople, if you're one of them that have to sneak stuff like this to get to your ends, sorry, some of us will protect our customer against people like you. And for all of you salespeople that are honest, I know there's a lot out there. Thank you for your services, by the way, for being good salespeople to help the people. But we're actually here for the people, not for the salesperson. And also another comment that he added was that I have an inspector. And, well, I said, oh, who's that? And I kind of have an idea who it is. Because we know some inspectors and we know how some of them work. So remember, there are a lot of people that you wouldn't want to work for you. That's why we emphasize on interviewing your inspectors. If your dealer is offering you somebody, which I try to tell to any dealer, do not promote us. I don't want my customer to know that I came from you in any way, shape, or form. I work for them. This don't look good. All of you are smart enough to figure what I'm saying, and, and that's where we're trying to stay. I'm working for the people. I'm not working for the dealership, and this is exactly what's going to happen here. Of, of our findings, I know what we found, and for me it was just I need to check with the customer to see how he feels about my findings, if he's okay with it. If 150,000 bucks, 120, 180, you say, well, you know, it's an RV, so I'm going to take it, but that's how they build them. Sorry, I'm dizzy here. If that's what you're thinking, and that's how you go about in life, it's time for you to wake up. If you need a wake-up call, I'll help you. I can slap you behind the head. Not on camera, but don't call. We might straighten you up. That's the point. I reached out to him and offered him. This is what I found. Let's walk around. Let's show this. We're FaceTiming. And he says, no, Pierre, this is exactly why we hired you. So he says, for me, it's a hard pass. And I am not going to invest this kind of money and already have to go to Indiana. I'm in Pennsylvania. I'm picking this up from three hours away from here. 
I'm not gonna go to Indiana. That's not my purpose. There's other models like this. Thank you for your services. So that's how it boils down to this morning. So that's where we're at. So now I'm gonna have Laurel walk us through what happened here. Let's check out with her. So yes, this is not the way we like to give a summary, but since Pierre has now shared with you everything that he found with the slide out box, I'll share what I was finding inside because I was well into my way of doing my inspection. And the first thing is that I have these gouges in the top of the ceiling right here. There's two gouges and a dirt mark in the center. So you can see this gouge. So is it major? No, but it's just one of those little findings. And I also was doing all of my walls, the shower wall, actually comes away from the actual wall itself. So once again, what happens? The water goes down there because it's missing sealant. So remember, when we talk about the CRL, this is one of those things when you find these gouges in your ceiling that maybe it's a monetary value you'd like to deduct from the price of the RV that you're purchasing as opposed to having them fix it because are they really going to fix it or are they going to make it worse? That's something to take into consideration. So then when Pierre was having his issue with the slide, he already told you I went outside with him and I found that spider crack in the side of the side wall. He went inside and found that where the seat belt is attached to the side wall is kind of the same area where the spider crack is. So probably that's the culprit. We can't say necessarily that it was. So unfortunately, we did have to Skype with our customer and uh, it's always a sad time for us when we have to do that. It's never the fun part of our job, that's for sure. We do enjoy what we do and we love saving one RVer at a time. And today, we know we helped our customer also. So remember, and do never forget, it's not about the destination, it's all about the journey. If you enjoy our videos, we hope that you'll hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, share with your RV and friends, and leave us a comment. If you don't know what to put, just put C4BO. Comment for Blue Ox. And don't forget, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when our next video comes out.